Hello everyone, FLR here, and welcome to another episode of our Borg playthrough, where, as you might imagine, resistance is probably futile. So, in the last episode, we finished off the Kazon sects over here in this corner. And then, proceeded to work on sort of consolidating that territory that we gained. So, in this episode, uh, the primary goal is going to be to start um, adding some more of this territory here into the collective and to try and um, consolidate some of this sort of border territory here that's um, available to me. <clears throat> so, this shipyard is where? Oh, at Kazon, okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add another shipyard to it, and then, I think, defensive arrays. Okay. Science ships are idle currently. Um, you can go ahead and go there, I think. You can go ahead and go there, I think. Um, let's see. What else do we need to do here? Our construction ships are all busy at this point. Starbase is here. So, um, I think we're gonna do that. Um, I think we're gonna do a resource silo as well. Okay, Kazon Prime has some, has quite a bit of upgrades to do, actually. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna swap you out over there. And then I guess we'll go ahead and upgrade all of the buildings on the planet while we wait for them to be assimilated. Um, lacking buildings to work in. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we can build that there. And that should resolve that issue. Okay, ground forces are here, ready to go. We're gonna draw them back to Rilnar, uh, kind of off the front line, and then we're gonna take uh, the secondary fleet here and go get rid of some of these hostile fleets that are putting, putzing around in that territory. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pause and get rolling here. And for the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time in the game. While we wait for things to happen. <coughs> Oops, scrolled out. Construction complete. All right. Um, I want to go ahead. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Wrong button. Um, grabbing up these outer sort of border territories that have resources, and come back for some of the ones. All right, diplomacy is relevant. Come back for some of these ones that have um, don't have resources in them. Resources in them at the later date. So, we'll grab that one next, I think. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna really bother with, um, consolidating the territories right now. I'm not gonna... Oh, the scientist has died. Um, that's not what I want. Mm, excuse me, I had to sneeze. Uh, that's not what I want. Um...
anti-proton technology breakthrough. Um, I'm going to go with that, because I don't know what it does. Um, we're going to grab you for research speed. Um, and the CM signal jammer, I guess. Oh, and we have more unity. So, RB damage I don't really need. Increases damage against Undine invasion fleets. That might be useful later on, I don't know. I assume that the Undine are one of the special events for the Borg. Um, their species, what is it, 8475 or something like that. Um, in, I think you, we first encounter them in, in Voyager, and the Borg essentially kidnap Voyager to help them fight that species. Um, so, anywho. I think, actually, we may want to build additional construction ships. I'm going to go ahead and build additional. should actually probably take a look at some of that stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's all auto-upgrading. Okay. Good. It probably means, yeah, that... Construction ships all need to be upgraded. What about science ships? I assume they're on the same... Yep. Same idea. Yeah, yep, 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 okay. Construction completes. Where? Oh, over here. And yes, I'm aware that I'm a point, a couple of points over my naval capacity. Um, I did just lose a couple of ships, a couple of cones that I believe were damaged in the last war, so that should... should resolve itself eventually. Um, Grab a, okay. Grab a light defense satellite there. Um. Grab a light defense satellite there. And I used all my money. Okay. Alright. I guess I'm going to reveal resources and see what happens. Um, and then... I think probably growth speed is going to be the biggest asset. Let's see. Got one headed there. Got one headed there. So you can probably do that. You can do that. And you can do that. <coughs> and then... Alright, that's taken care of. Um... Okay, and then uh, you head down there and clear out those guys. <clears throat> and there's a bunch of stuff for our science ships to take a look at up here. So I'll go ahead and return them back up here in the sort of galactic north part of the collective. Now do I... momentarily I will have... Ooh, am I not going to be able to build one here? I might not be able to build one here. Who? The Tarabe Alliance, huh? You know, you have like... One planet and a star, right? There's no way you can beat me? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but whatever. Okay. So, Zal... Oh, it's not an upgraded star base. It's just a star base in general. Okay. That's why I can't do anything in it. All right, that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> so now I guess I guess we get ready to gear up for the next uh, war. 
Um, this fleet is in pretty decent shape. Um, I guess offensive asset is going to be the one that I'll need to upgrade. Um, I guess I'll do Transwarp Conduit 4. Construction complete. Construction is complete. Okay, good. Uh, let's do Rubis next. So like I said, I'm just going to try and claim all of this territory in one go and not, um, build anything on it for the moment, not consolidate it. I just want to grab up the resources before anybody else does so that I can just kind of control this entire area. That's the goal in this episode, is to control the entire area. So this may may not be a super combat-heavy episode. I don't know yet. We'll see. How close are you? You're just about there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and watch this and see what happens. There, but halfway, that's not what I wanted to do. What did I just do? I slowed the game speed now. <coughs> First contact protocol initiated. Diplomacy is irrelevant. Diplomacy is irrelevant. Why did I just... What's going on here? I don't know what that was. That was weird. That's what that was. Time for some more coffee. All right. Shipyards are... Um, why is there a shipyard at Kazon? Okay. All right, we need... Hold on. We need to look at our shipyards here. Kazon. Starbase. Supposed to have a shipyard. Yes? Ferrara Station. Where the hell is that? Oh, that's over here? Um... Unicomplex 01 has a starbase. Krenim Station has a starbase. Yeah. I don't know if Ferrara needs a station, really. Mari Shipyard. Mari and Krenim, yeah. I want to keep K's on. I think Ferrara, maybe, doesn't need one. So... Um, I think maybe we'll throw one of those as a naval depot, and for now one of those is a fission reactor, and that'll bring us down to four shipyards. Unicomplex. Uh, okay. And this does have a starbase, question mark? I don't know. Oh no, that's that's just the normal planetary starbase. Okay, and then, okay, I don't quite have enough resources for the next unicomplex section, which that's going to be our one of our other goals in this episode is to grab that unicomplex section. And there goes the fleet. So I'm going to go ahead and slow down time so we can watch this happen. Fourteen ships coming from Akaden, and here we go. As you can see, we have our triangle. Our that's going to trigger people. <laughs> Our pyramid. Um, cones and some regular probes. Mm, lighting is a little funky from here. We'll watch them go in. Construction. died the scientist huh oh that was in one of our actual science vessels huh all right diplomacy is relevant 
Okay. Need another scientist here. Um, let's go with anomaly fail risk. Where are you? You're down there. All right. I'm going to bring you up here. To do that. All right. Okay. You're going to do that one. You're going to grab that one. And you're going to grab that. And then... Oh. I need to pause here. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade the unit complex another section yet. <clears throat> okay. So that clears that out. Uh, which fleet is going to get there faster? I don't know. Who cares? We'll send both of them and see what happens. Hmm? What do you mean one of our fleets is in combat? Was that a bit of a late... A um, little bit... Was that a bit slow on the uptake or something? I'm not sure what happened there. <coughs> oh yeah, here we go. The Hurigen Hunters. They don't like me. They're actually fairly powerful, relatively speaking to other factions. I'm not in... One of the things that's a little strange, um, our little... Interesting about the Borg playthrough, and I think I've mentioned this in other episodes, is that it's the Borg seem to be very powerful. Like, I don't really feel like any faction around here can challenge me. Maybe the Federation or the Romulans can challenge me, but I'm not. I I wonder if from as a player playing the Borg, I wonder if the Borg are a little bit unbalanced. Um, because I haven't, I mean, I haven't given myself any resources or unity or anything like that. Um, I mean, I haven't cheated in any way uh, in this one. Um, yeah, I only do that when I want to test how a faction plays late game and I want to speed things up. And then just be able to spawn ships in to see what they do. Um, and this obviously is a playthrough that I'm doing for YouTube, so I'm not doing that. Um, so, I'm not, I don't know. I'm, there may be something to keep an eye on in the future. Um, I suspect that the Borg are balanced to be played by a particular AI. That would be my guess. I can't... I don't really know enough about modding and enough about this, this how the AI functions in this game mechanically to know whether that is, you know, a, a valid comment or not. But um, if I had to make a guess based on what other people have said in various mods... Um, that may be what's happening here. Uh, so, so was it that one? No. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so in any case, um, the Borg are pretty powerful. I mean, I feel, I haven't, there hasn't really been a challenge to me yet. I mean, the biggest challenge was the annoyance factor of, whoops, the annoyance factor of some of the factions that I declared war on just sending kind of random ships wandering around in my territory destroying star bases. Which, you know, didn't do more than annoy me. I mean, if I were a faction their size, that would certainly be, you know, detrimental to war effort. But considering that I'm at any given point two or three or even four times the size of any faction that I'm fighting, it hasn't really been effective for them. Alright. Ferrara shipyard is almost done. So I'm I'm I don't know. Maybe that's something. I don't know. Maybe that's somebody in, something somebody in the comments can say something about. I'm not. I don't know. People are just climbing out our territory all over the place. Well, come get it. Come and get it. If you want it, you're gonna have to come and get it. Construction complete. Okay, you're at full capacity. You're not quite at full capacity, but headed there. 
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and speed things back up now, now that the sort of craziness is done. So what, one of my, I guess, primary objectives is I want to expand all the way out to kind of that arm of the spiral and then turn around and come back down this way. I don't know. I think this is not supposed to happen. They're not supposed to be able to expand across territory like that. Um, but I'm not sure. In any case, I'd like to grab control of this arm and then maybe push into this arm. I I don't know what happens if I run into the founders and the Jem'Hadar over here. Construction. And I have no idea how the Federation and the... Um, uh, the um, Romulans and the Klingons, etc., are doing. I have no information about how they are doing currently. So, all right, I guess we're gonna go ahead and start consolidating some of that territory. We have enough construction ships right now that I think we'll grab everything that we have uh, searched, and I want to go ahead and. I want to make sure that I have surveyed all of the planets that I'm going to capture, potentially, before I capture them, so. Uh, let's see. You have a leader, but you... Oh, you do have a leader. I didn't know you had a leader. Okay. Uh, okay. And then, I guess, after we're done with kind of our big wave of expansion here, we'll go and upgrade our construction ships and make sure that they're at full capacity. And we should probably do our science ships as well. It's about time for that, I think. <clears throat> Construction complete. Alright, more construction is complete. Construction complete. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and get rolling on stations there. Uh, mining station there. Yeah, I mean our resource income isn't fantastic. I mean I think if we were in a war act with I mean, if, if our military supply capacity was larger against another larger faction, and I was consistently losing ships and having to replace them, I think my uh, mineral and, well, primarily my mineral income would be a problem. But right now, I just there's just nothing that can take on my fleets. Like, yeah, they can do a bit of damage like that, but what good does it do them? I mean... They destroyed one ship. Big deal. And I have lots more ships. So I don't know. I'd say I'd say the Borg are not balanced to be played by a human player who knows generally speaking what they're doing. Um I'll grab that, I think. Uh I mean not to say that I'm the best. Stellaris player by any means, but I'm I am an experienced strategy game player. I have played a lot of strategy games um, And a lot of grand strategy games that I like and some of the ones similar to this like Crusader Kings and whatnot so It's not a I'm not really I mean yeah, I'm learning the new patch the new update but I'm not really learning the basic mechanics of the game anymore. Like, I've known that for a while. The basic mechanics changed a little bit in this update, but it's not, not so drastically that I'm completely relearning the game. And I don't think the Borg are really designed to be played by by. Construction complete. Well, maybe I I suppose it could be the difficulty that I'm playing on. Maybe I just didn't set it to a hard enough difficulty. I mean, I think it's on like medium or. 
You know, it's not on the the sort of default standard difficulty. It's it's set up a little bit higher than that, but maybe in the next playthrough I need to set the difficulty up a little higher. If I do Borg again, for sure I will. Um, the I think probably if I do a Romulan or a Klingon or um, one of those other uh, factions in the next playthrough, I may not set the difficulty up because I, those are a little bit more difficult in my experience. So, all right. Uh, we'll set up a hydroponics bay there, a maturation chamber there. Um. Alright. Oh, I can build another one already? Alright. Oh, my limit is reached, I see. Construction. surface nothing really to do there okay I mean I think one of the things they were trying to do in the apocalypse update is slow down the gameplay slightly um, and I'm not really sure that they succeeded um, depending on how your faction starts uh, I think because of where I started, I didn't have any competition and I was able to expand, whoops, I was able to expand in a fairly large area quickly relative to other factions. Um, I, I think it may also be partly the mod. I mean, I think the, they, they countered some of those changes in the mod to make the game play a little bit quicker. So, I don't know. I, I would say this is still probably one of my two or three two top two or three mods for this game and cert definitely one of my top eight top seven mods uh for any game at all um so no i want a governor not to make a vassal um yeah we're gonna throw you on there Wait, what? Affirmative. Uh, okay. Oh, I get it, I get it. Core sector ruling. I get it, I get it. Okay. Construction complete. Alright, we have a bunch, bu blah, blah, a bunch of construction ships ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and get them rolling on building stations here. Sort of consolidating that territory that we took. Alright, so, I think this is gonna be about the end of this episode here. We're coming up on a, just about... 30-ish minutes, maybe not quite, uh, but I think I want to go ahead and kind of keep the, the episode right at or a little bit below 30 minutes here for most of these. I think that'll make for nicer watching on YouTube. Um, it makes so that it doesn't take um, quite as long and I can record more frequently. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and in the, ne ne bleh, the next episode, uh, we'll go ahead and start research before we get going here. I'm going to go ahead and pause now so nothing else interrupts us. Anyway, in the next episode, I think we'll go ahead and start clearing out some more of the rest of this section here. If you have any feedback or any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, please no backseat gaming. Um, uh, that's a vague term, I guess, subject to the person playing the game. Um, but in any case, feel free to leave suggestions or ideas in the comments below. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.